Welcome to The Know, I'm Ashley Jenkins. I'm Mika Burton. We've seen robberies, we've seen swatting, we've seen just about everything else you can imagine gone wrong during a live stream. And sadly, those types of unfortunate events have come to their inevitable conclusion. This weekend, one streamer died during a charity stream. The streamer was Brian Vignolt, aka Poshybrid, a World of Tank streamer who was using his stream to raise money for Make-A-Wish during a marathon 24-hour live session. God, this is so strong. This is so. Th this, this is hard to report. Okay. Really sad. Uh, according to early reports from PVP Live, the cause of death was heart complications due to sleep deprivation. It was, after all, a 24-hour stream. However, it should be noted that not much is confirmed, at least not yet. It's a lot of it's speculation. Everything else we know comes from the Twitch chat. Poshi left the stream during hour 22 of 24 hours to get a cigarette, leaving fans worried when he didn't return. They were still waiting for him about eight hours after he disappeared, assuming he had fallen asleep. Later, one of his chat moderators saw Poshi sign into Discord. Now, when he sent Poshi a message, he got a reply from someone on the other end claiming to be a detective from the Virginia Beach Police Department, asking for the moderator to contact him. The moderator first called the police department to verify the detective's identity. Once that was settled, the detective confirmed that Poshi had been found dead. Today, his fans and others from around the community have gathered in his Twitch chat to pay their respects and to reminisce on some of their favorite moments of his. He also leaves behind his partner and his three children. There's no word at the time of writing if there's going to be some type of fund posted to help the family with funeral costs, but we will include links for that if we hear anything about it. According to Reddit, there are some streamers working together to do a charity stream for Poshy's family. Other communities are paying tribute to Poshi's memories as well. The gaming community Fame also made a Facebook post saying, Sad news from Virginia Beach. One of the most famous NA streamers and a member of our clan, Poshi Brid, has passed away at the age of 35. We just cannot find words to describe how sad this moment is for all of us and for sure, this game will not be the same without this legend. Now, the post goes on to say, maybe the saddest lines cannot really be written and the saddest thoughts cannot really be uttered. Let's all hope that he's in a better place right now and may his soul rest in peace. He will never be forgotten. A person who stays in our hearts never dies. Charity streams are something that are becoming much more commonplace in the gaming community. There's obviously a lot of good that comes from those efforts, but this is definitely a reminder that regardless of your age or your health or your popularity, you should probably take some precautions before undergoing that kind of sleep deprivation. 24 hours is seriously That's no a joke. long time yeah. to be awake. Again, the cause of death is still unconfirmed, but it's a good idea regardless. Now, people see folks at Rooster Teeth. We do 24-hour charity events like Extra Life, for example, but it's also important to remember that we do have medical personnel on hand for events like that, and we rotate people in and out to get rest as needed. There are frequent naps on yeah. Extra Life Day. Very few, if anyone, is actually there and awake the full 24 hours. So unfortunately, we've seen a number of examples from all around the world of what gaming marathons can do to people, but we haven't really seen it happen during a stream before. The closest thing was back in 2014 when a 29-year-old professional Killer Instinct player died during a streaming tournament. Terrence Moore, known as his handle Pusha T, fell unconscious shortly after one of his Killer Instinct matches, and he died on his way to the hospital. So this type of exhaustion is way more typically associated with crazy gaming binges in internet cafes and PC bangs, which have developed something of a reputation for this kind of episode. Not a not a good reputation to have, but it, but it does happen there more frequently than most places. Back in 2015, a man in Taiwan died after a three-day gaming binge. He collapsed in an internet cafe. Another gamer in Taiwan died shortly before that under similar circumstances. And it really doesn't matter if you're older or younger. A 24-year-old gamer in China died after a 19-hour internet cafe session with World of Warcraft back in 2015. And in 2010, a South Korean teenager died after a 12-hour gaming marathon in a PC bank. Jeez. As we mentioned earlier, it was only a matter of time before we saw something like this happen. More streamers are living more of their lives on camera, which means that more unfortunate incidents like this become news all the time. Last year, a number of sword events took place on streams, streamers being swatted, and the Pokemon Go player who got mugged on camera, for instance. Now, the untimely death of Pashi comes just a couple of weeks after a recent report from Kotaku about the level of pressure streamers tend to put on themselves and how many are trying to gain a following at the expense of their own well-being. Uh, the report is filled with a couple of first-hand accounts of streamers who work day jobs and then also pull these, these long night sessions in order to build their audience. So please, just 
be careful. We know a lot of you like to game for long sessions and many community members love to host long streams for charity, but take frequent breaks and check with a doctor before attempting anything at a bigger scale than you've done beforehand because no amount of views is worth your health. Now the game, the audience, they will be there when you come back. Please, please, please take care of yourself first. And if you're a fan of Poshy Brid and have some favorite memories to share or other remarks about him, feel free to leave them in the comments and rest in peace, Poshy.